That's what the song is. <laughs> All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello. It's me and Cassie. Yeah, I'm a. It's a bug to stream. You. Yeah, bugs. Our stream has a theme song now. Listen, everybody. <laughs> I'm not yeah. here yet, but if you're here on YouTube, in the future, you'll hear it now. <laughs> I really like it. Did you hear it, Cassie? Did this show you? Yeah, I think it was my ears. Nice. I'm trying to hear it right now, but I'm getting an ad for Evangelion. Oh. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta share our uh, stream announcement so everybody comes and watches. Oh yeah. You liked it, but <laughs> oh, Sasha's here. Hi, Sasha. How do you like the new theme song? This is a very classic this one. Yeah, it's perfect for the bean bug, I, th I feel. I love the instruments they used. This is a very bug song, in my opinion. <laughs> this song sounds like bugs crawling around in the dirt and eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> bugs crawling around in the dirt. Yeah. Lena's funny. <laughs> The other day we were the, the, the yesterday on my stream we were trying to decide what makes something count as a bug, and I said that bugs crawl around in the dirt and eat leaves and get eaten by birds. Because <laughs> I was trying to because because I feel like people count snails and slugs as as bugs, and I was trying to justify why they should count as bugs. Sasha's crawling around in the dirt and eating the leaves now. So Sasha's a bug. Yep. Also, people usually sort of throw in worms as bugs, too. Just like bug-related. I'll count that. <laughs> Terraria collectible figures available for pre-order, huh? They look like amiibos, but they aren't. Oh. <laughs> I want to see that. I have not touched Terraria in a while. I only played it like in 2014. That was it. Played 89 hours of it oh, one summer. Yeah. And... Figures. Oh my god! Why do they look like that? Oh, what? Are they, you, they're bad? They're QB boys? Oh, I think I was looking at the wrong ones. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not what I saw. He's actually looking fine. Okay. Yeah, I thought they looked kind of like amiibos. There's an eyeball, there's a guy with a sword, and there's a girl with green. Yeah. That's the dryad. Yeah, I think I remember that character. That sells you dry things. I love listening to this song. This did a good job making the song that's that sounds nice to just loop up. It's a funny movie song. I love that we Didn't have they our own song that now. there's another Terraria game happening? I don't know. That I heard. Terraria is such a bizarre game. Because it's always been relevant, but I don't think it's ever been huge or anything. It's just a consistently oh. relevant thing, I guess. Now for a completely different tone with the music of Rain World. <laughs> I think they cancelled a Terraria sequel at some point, but... I'm still kind of curious to get Terraria on the 3DS. I have it on the 3DS. That's how I played it for a while. Oh dang. I don't know what, like, I'm always, like, curious to get 3DS versions of stuff. Like, I want to get the 3DS version of Angry Birds. <laughs> and I, I want to get the version 3DS of Minecraft. version of Isaac for, like, no reason. Hey, you could now, because you have a new 3DS. Hi, Shan. Yeah. I think it's relatively cheap, too. Hmm. I'm going to immediately pause because now Shan is here and I want Shan to hear the Beanbug theme song. Beanbug! Okay, Shan, are you ready? 
The Beanbug has a theme song now. By Biss. Biss made this song. Your Biss song. I don't know what you think, Shan. <laughs> the beanbug has been such a good addition to the stream, I think. <laughs> we gotta get more subscribers so we can have beanbug emote. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep telling people to subscribe. <laughs> Anyway, back to game. So we've just entered, or we're just about to enter a new area, rather. The first time I've ever come into one of these areas from the right side. Beanbug and Bug Cat, yeah. Oh yeah, the game like really lags. In these spots. I guess probably because it's loading. Getting a little bean bug shower. Excuse me, a bug cat shower. This is the bug cat, not the bean bug. Can't, can't get those mixed up. Bug, bug, bug. Can't. Bug. Oh, look in the chat, Cassie. What is it? Bean bug and bug cat? After that. Hey, I heard Elena was cute. Anyone here can cross-reference that? Definitely. That's <laughs> entirely true. Oh, thank you, Cassie. I beat all of you. Ow. We are saving on the other side. If you want to get a Dreepy Baby and Sword and Shield with real good IVs, hit me up. I've hatched so many to give away, says so Shan. <laughs> We're going to stream this for about an hour, by the way. This was That was Cassie's request. Oh, I mean, we don't have to do just an hour. I was just... Suggesting it, because I don't want it to be too late when I start streaming Isaac. Well, I mean, that's fair. Et ninety seven oh, says but, that uh, you valuable that you do valuable st statistic work, Cassie. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, I noticed this game seems to have a two D lighting system. You never see that before because we didn't have a moving light. <laughs> <laughs> but now the bug cat lights up. As I mentioned on some of my other streams, somebody in the comments on YouTube was was giving me trouble for what we did last time. <laughs> well, I say we, it was what I did. Because I wasn't paying attention. Shaded Citadel. Eat that? Oh yeah, that gives me the shield around the thing. I think I got one of those last time, but chucked it because I forgot what it was. Lost what it. shield? The shield around your symbol, so you don't lose it. Oh yeah. Game over. <laughs> well, that was... We got a platform now, I guess. Platforming challenges. Like how the symbol to get in here was lower than the symbol to get out. You're essentially trapped <laughs> for at least a bit. Our bug cat is very talented. Are you still there, Cassie? Yeah. Okay, good. I love you. <laughs> Oh, poop, the little shield thing is gone this time. 
This is some interesting music. Free chip toony. This game has a wide variety of music, doesn't it? Oh, there's the shield thing. Remember last time when there was that song that was like really funky? No, Bug Cat, why? Yeah, I like that. Uh. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Bless you. I'm a snog girl now. <laughs> I gotta go piss. I'll be or be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's pretty easy to make t shirts. So. I think I might make. A bean bug t-shirt because there has been some interest in that and Cassie requested a, a smooth drawing of the bean bug instead of pixel art so I think I would do two versions I would have a pixel art bean bug shirt and I would have a smooth bean bug shirt for those who want those And then my stream will have its very first merchandise. <laughs> this is something the stream was missing. It really needed like a little mascot. You know, like Vine Sauce has the, the Vine Shroom. Things like that. I can't actually think of any other examples other than that. But you needed that kind of thing. These ghost things are here now. What the heck? That's a spider. You want a bean bug plush? That will be harder to make happen. Someday, when I have many thousands of subscribers, followers, um, maybe you make that happen. It's a good thing I have the light now, isn't it? Because look at how dark it is. See why you get the light here. Now you need it. Those hey, are spy. Hey Cassie, there's spiders in this game now. Spider? Yeah, there's spiders. I wonder if I can eat them. Little dudes that yeah. run around. Yeah, I wonder if I can eat spiders. Do you think bean? Do you think bug cat eats spiders? Yum yum. I don't remember. Do you like how that's my instinct in this game now, is to try it, is every time I see a new thing, it's to wonder if I can eat it? I need yum yum, am I right? I gotta have a good meal. Gotta have a spicy, Oh, delicious. yep, he picked up a spider, look. Mm. It, well, he didn't eat it. I can, I think I can make him poop. Oh, those spiders? Yeah. Is that Mew? Can I eat Mew? What? No, I cannot eat Mew. Mew is too big. I like the glowing baby mans. <laughs> that's that's what I, that's what Bug Cat is now. Yeah. This is a cool area. This might be one of my favorites so far. I got this here before I got glowing. Oh, that so would be like... painful. Yeah, I was just donking around in the, in the dark for a while. I was because I was thinking that it seemed spiders. like it that it made sense that um, I got the glowing first and then like came here. Like it seems like that's right. maybe how it was intended. <laughs> I got like it was so difficult trying to find my way around. Oh, I mean, it seems like it might be difficult, even like this. Jen says it sounds spooky. It was. It was spooky. I was constantly getting eaten by spiders. <laughs> oh. They seem afraid of me now that I have the light. Oh yeah, people boosted the, the Discord server yesterday, or last night. And so I can make custom stickers on there. So I just made one of me sitting. And oh. everybody, everybody seems to love it. They just keep... Everybody just keeps posting it. That's spicy delicious. Somebody's uh, unfrogable said that um, there should be a channel just for the me sitting sticker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sitting one right now. 
Which I was reminded of because I was just going to say, that, oh, it's one of the... Stop hitting me with rocks. Please. Oh, and I have the seat. Oh, there's the... Wait, the blue guy is there. I would have... I thought that would have been gone. They're pointing me somewhere. Wait, I still have a guide pointing me. I thought that would have been gone after... Destroyed that thing. Maybe these ones are evil. It's one of those dudes. Maybe these ones are evil and they like that I killed that thing. I think I'm on their side now. Not I have a good meal. Yeah, I was just thinking um, I could sell beanbug stickers too, I bet. Yeah. I would put one on my skateboard. <laughs> For some reason I thought you were going to say butt. <laughs> I would butt. definitely put one on my skateboard. Beanbug ass. This area is really neat. I like this. Isn't this cool? Just cool beans. It's funny, like a bug. Wanna, I really badly want to grab one of those spiders. The little glowy guys. I love them. They're little guys. They're friends. Who doesn't love little guys? They eat this stuff? These little goobers on the floor? Yep, I can eat those. This is a good meal. Floor goobers. <laughs> bug cat has a good meal. Gotta what, if, have a good meal. what if there was a mod that replaced the bug cat with the bean bug? I would eat it. You eat it, chat. Did I do something to the bean to the bug cat? Oh, the bug cat floats now. What did you eat, bug what? cat? What did I get for just having the bug cat just eat random things that I find? I feel like slugs should count as bugs. I think a slug should turn into a bug. Roma said that the rule for being a bug is that you should have an exoskeleton. Hmm. I have an exoskeleton. Oh. Didn't know this about you. Yeah. New Cassie lore. Yeah. <laughs> I keep my skeleton outside of my body. And says, eat it again. Yeah, I don't know what I ate. It's a good place for it, Elena. Oh, I see. As he's you just have being a efficient. Skeleton? Yeah. Pretty sure. What do you do with it? Um, I keep it inside me. Why? Because that's where it was when I found it. Don't you want to show it off? <laughs> hey everybody, check out my skeleton! That's what, that's what you do like when you go to the doctor and get an x-ray. And you'd like save the picture of it and you just go up, hey everybody, you want to see my skeleton? 
Here it is. <laughs> That's what already. I do. Well. Sasha's yeah. asking me what it's like to have an exoskeleton. It's pretty cool. Um, you can fall off your skateboard all you want, and you'll be mostly fine. I bet Shan would want to see your skeleton. Like you could, you could ask Shan, "Hey, you want to see my skeleton?" And they would say yes. Yeah. Do you want to see it, Shan? <laughs> you can have a look if you like. This area it's is really cool. Skeletal. I think this is my favorite area in the game so far, aesthetically. Yeah, it's very cool, because the other day when I fell off my skateboard, I didn't get hurt at all, because I have an exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. Yeah, very esoteric. <laughs> I bet Bugcat doesn't have any bones. I bet Bugcat is a bones. They're the I same color as the bones. I bet Bug Cat has red bone. Yeah, and they have white blood. <laughs> oh, Shan would see this. Would what? See skeleton? Yeah, I'll definitely show you. Remind me later. <laughs> Oh, whoa! Flashing lights warning. Oh, where? Oh, I think I know where you are. No, bug cat, throw it the other way. There we go, bug cat. Good job. Very talented. Oh my god, yeah, oh, I actually a safe forgot there were those. It's like... There's those fireworks you can get, where that's all they do is they just... Make a really big light. <laughs> I think they usually... I feel like it's way too common that flashing lights happen in games and other media. Like, yeah, really can you actually them. believe... Yeah, same. Can you actually... Remember when Incredibles 2 came out? And they had they to, had like, one post room. up warnings on the, like, outside theaters and stuff. Yeah, that's wild. Like, why, how does, how does that end up in a movie, like, I know that, that everybody recent... always says, how did this get approved? How did this, this passage. get through the chain of command? But, like, seriously, how? Somebody had to have been like, excuse me, don't do that. Well, what the fuck? Wait, what? And then, like, they leave it up to the theaters to, like, post up the warnings? Like... What did I do? Uh, come on! <laughs> I'm not even, like, photosensitive. It just kind of upsets me. Um... Okay, I didn't... I saw that option come up, and I guess... I guess I won? What? I got an what achievement for doing that. There was a button that came up that just said passage, and I clicked it. And then there was, like, what? a little scene, and then I got an achievement. What did I miss? Literally, what did I just miss? There was a little... I noticed there was a continue button, and there was an exit to main menu button, and then on the far left, there was a button that said passage. And so I selected that to see what it did. Why? And then there was a little piece of art with lizards and the bug cat, and I got an achievement called the survivor. I am looking this up right now. Is that an ending? Did I beat the game? I don't. Because now uh, it's just letting me. It says press map button to select the shelter you wish to continue do you from. You want me to read out the um? Oh no! I okay. I remember this. I remember this. Um. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Are we starting from scratch now? No. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you what it is? Let me just go look at the... I want to read the, the, the achievement description real quick first. It says... Let's see. This land has become your home. That's what it says. So what did I just do? 
Um, I don't think you can use it a lot, but it's fast travel. Oh, wild! So you have to be, you have to be on the on that uh, symbol. You have to be on the maximum symbol, and then you have fast travel. Interesting. Well, I want to continue here. Damn, I thought I, I beat the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's wild. I think... Um... Slightly confused reading this, but I think you only get one per save file, except like if you earn it on another save file, you can use it on a different one. Huh. Uh, that might be wrong though. I'm a little confused by this wiki article. Weird. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like a very wild, um... Thing? Oh, it seems like an extremely limited mechanic. They hmm. really don't want you to do it a lot, if at I all. I guess they won't really worry about it. Yeah. I did get an achievement, though. I never used though. it. So that's something. I was, I've been thinking about how much time it must have taken to do all the art for this game. Yeah, I can only imagine. Because it's taken me a long time to make all of the art for Gray Area, and I'm working on a much lower resolution. Right. So... I wonder if they had multiple artists for this that would explain it. If this was all one person, I'm very impressed. It was not. It was a team. Okay, good. Like, I mean, not, like, it's good Oh, you mean in, the art? Yeah. Do you mean the art? Yeah. Uh, actually, I actually don't know. It could have been oh, one damn. person. Yeah, if it was one person, I would have, I would be very impressed. <laughs> Depends on how many assets are recycled, right? It doesn't look like very many. We'd have to, like, take stock of it. Like, a lot of backgrounds and stuff that are unique. Bugcat did the art? Oh, yeah, because Bugcat's very Bug talented. Did the art. Yeah, that explains a lot, because Bugcat is extremely talented. Okay. I get it. <laughs> I mean, look, Bugcat Bug can do this. Do, 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 I'm Bugcat. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Bugcat. See, Bugcat is lit up now, too, so it's like the spotlight. Like Everybody around will yeah. see Bugcat doing this now. They're very talented, do, do, and everyone do, 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 do. can see. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. Damn, if only I could get over there. I like Bug Cat. Me too. <laughs> I'm a bit confused on where to go. For... Where do we go? Do we go? Where do we go now? This game is actually just amazing. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it's actually just a maze. <laughs> it is, though. Like, yeah, because that would be true. I wanted to just go up there, but it doesn't work. I really want to see what's under my big band-aid, but like, oh. no. I thought you were going to say, I really want to see what's under my bed. Oh, I actually, ever since I I was little, I actually like when something's different about my body. Like, oh. <laughs> the road rash on my back, um, it's like really like coarse. 
So, like, I just have a bit of coarse skin now, and I actually like it. Like, I like feeling it. See? <laughs> Probably go back I to like normal soon, yeah. sensory sensations on my body, I suppose. <laughs> it, have I told you about when I was little? Um, I got poison ivy bumps all over my legs. I don't, I don't know what you would call those, like, sores or bumps or whatever. I just called them bumps as a kid. Just a rash. <laughs> And I got them all over my legs, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and but I liked them. I was like, oh, I love these. <laughs> and I would like <laughs> run my hands over them or anything. Uh, and then when my mom was finally like, okay, we got to get rid of this, I was like, oh, this is so upsetting. I love them. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this is funny. I think people in the chat will agree with assessment. Yeah, I'm very funny. So yeah, I actually like enjoy. Um, I don't like that it hurts when I have an injury, but I like that my yeah. body feels different. <laughs> if it hurts though, that's just no fun. Well, I but see. if it's like a different sensation, then, then it's kind of cool. <laughs> It was funny the other day because you showed me that and you're like, you, you were asking if, if, if we were going to be squ squeamish. And I was like, yeah, like it was so funny because we were at the zoo and uh, they had, they have condors, the California condors and they're scavengers yeah. so they eat carrion and they just had like a dead animal out there for them that I had just been looking oh. at. And then you're like, are you going to be squeamish? And I'm like, I was literally <laughs> just looking at a dead animal and I was fine. I think I'll be good. Well, I didn't get any pictures of, um, the absolute carnage that happened on my elbow. Um, so, there's that, that nobody's gotten to see <laughs> except for me and Sam. Oh, yes, and yeah, Shander, they have California condors at the zoo. They are, they have the, the world's largest wingspan of any bird. And they like to stand around with their wings spread out, too, so you get to see how big their wings are. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're showing it off. Look at these, everyone. Read them in a week. Here, while I'm thinking about it, let me get the picture of them I took. I don't know how well you can see them because they're a little bit far away, but... I'm going to send you the picture, Cassie, for convenience. Hooray! The... Funny picture? I haven't shown any Funny of the, my picture. new zoo pictures on the stream yet, I don't think. You're my zoo pal. <laughs> Whoa, that's a condor. Yeah, California condors are endangered, so they're Condorino. having them here at the zoo as part of conservation efforts. Apparently one of the problems is that people go hunting with lead bullets. Oh. And they just leave oh. they just leave the carcasses out there. And then, the and then the condors will eat them and then get the lead from the bullets in them and it causes their eggs to become brittle. Uh, hunting is kind of asshole behavior. Um, yeah. If you're doing, if you're, especially if you're not even like going to do anything with the animal, you just kill yeah. it for fun and then you, well, and then just it. leave it. Yeah. And it's very bad for the condors. There they are. Zoom in on them. Their wings out. There he is. <laughs> yeah, I, it was kind of a bad angle. You can't really see how big the wings are there, but you like to just sit there, wings out. I like there. that Shan likes condors and vultures. Uh huh. <laughs> Apparently they're they're having a little bit of a comeback, like their their conservation efforts are going well. That is Shan good. is gonna become a falconer. <laughs> Falcons are. Is cool. that what they call those? The people that. Yep. Wear the leather correct. thing on their arm. <laughs> the thing that's neat Falcon about falcons friend. is that they are they are an animal. Oh, that... Chroma, go bed. No night, night, Chroma. Oh, okay. No, I think Chroma's just saying hello. What? Like, like good, like good evening. Oh. Huh. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, a cool thing about falcons is that they're one of those animals that does well, like, around human settlements, because um, they really like tall buildings. They like to make their nests on those. Yeah. He's trying to, he's trying to kill me and keeps missing. What a dilgus. He's being hostile to me. He threw a bomb at me. First he threw a spear and then a bomb and missed with both of them. What an absolute dilgus. Oh yeah, I was showing the California condors. I took pictures of at the zoo. Let me put them back up again real quick. There's so many cool creatures in Bug World, but I think hey there. maybe my favorite is the dudes Zoom that carry again. the spears around and stuff. Yeah, they're neat. They have the world's largest wingspan of any bird, which you can't really tell in these pictures, but you can see that they they like to put their wings out as if they're showing them off. <laughs> like, look how cool our wings are. They are over there. <laughs> they're taking good care of them there at the zoo. I appreciate that the zoo here, at least, well, I think most zoos are probably like this, but I appreciate that the zoo here is focused on conservation. I saw I saw a turkey vulture on one of my bike rides one time, which was kind of exciting, because I've never seen one of those before. I saw it only briefly, though. The, uh, bug it's very bizarre to me that more this game was brain. published by Adult Swim Games. Yeah. <laughs> Adult like, Swim just publishes what all sorts of stuff. Matching. Um, It almost makes sense, though, because Adult Swim is known for a lot of experimental avant -garde animation. Avant-garde stuff. This game is very experimental. Yeah. They, the, so most like, of the games they publish are pretty avant-garde, so... Right. Like, so uh, in. what's that one? Something Punks? You remember? It's one of the main ones uh, I remember them publishing. No. Does anybody remember what I'm talking about? Adults. I only got to see the turkey vulture briefly because oh. I didn't see it. I was like, I was riding down a hill and it was like... Oh, they, by... they published that game. Yeah. <laughs> they were sitting on like the corner mm -hmm of like one of the turns and as I approached then they got up and started flying away and that's when I noticed them so I only got to see them for a split second as it was flying away and I could just tell it was a really big bird and I caught a glimpse of its head and could tell it was a vulture so <laughs> there used to be a stereo I don't know if it still is there used to be a stereotype of like vultures oh, being jazz like punk? jazz punk yes that's the one I remember that game it's a really weird game it's kind I'll of just a walking simulator it. type of thing, but there's like a lot of weird stuff yeah, and everything. <laughs> Rain World is so special. Yeah, I definitely think so. And I'm really weirdly, glad you like it. I still weirdly draw a lot of comparisons to a uh, Carrion from this game. <laughs> there's, uh, they're weirdly Carrion similar. has like a comparable animation system, right? Yeah, I think that's one of the main reasons. I think them. Rain World gives um, 2D puppets a very good name. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, vultures used to have, like, sort of a bad, I don't know if they still do, a bad reputation for being, like, scary and, like, killing things, but that's, like, they do not do that whatsoever. They only eat things that are already dead. They do, I think, sometimes tend to circle around things that they think are going to die soon. <laughs> like, there's, like, old Looney Tunes cartoons with, like, vulture characters, and they show them, like, hunting things and, like, being, like, scary and attacking things. It's not what they do. Also, uh, we used to think that... Um, vultures had bald heads 
or uh, like keeping themselves clean because of like the, not getting like stuff in their feathers, eat carrion. But uh, it actually seems to mostly be for uh, uh, heat regulation because they fly like really high in the air. I think was the reason. I may be misremembering that slightly, but it was heat regulation thing. I think that they are really cool birds. I like birds in general. <laughs> I like most animals in general. Not all animals. <laughs> I am an animal person. Yeah, Chromosis scavengers always get weird reputations despite being explicitly the least violent of predators. <laughs> Predators. I think that's why they have like a separate name, you know, they're not they're not exactly like predators. But they are carnivores. <laughs> I always think scavengers are interesting because they are like the animals that do best around where people live. Like raccoons oh, and yeah. rats and uh seagulls also are scavengers. Seagulls are a bit like rat birds. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> They're just funny to try to bore. <laughs> they apparently the seagulls live around garbage dumps a lot. Like you'll see tons of seagulls there. It's pretty funny. Oop. I just, I really want to get over there, but I just can't. Where else to go? I guess there's down there. I guess let's head over there, though. Cockroaches, of course, are the other one that do really well around humans. There's evidence that cockroaches have been living with humans since we lived in caves. <laughs> also, that's funny because I don't think that people ever primarily lived in caves. Like, I'm sure that we sometimes did. But, like, evidence of us living in caves is obviously the only thing that survived. Oh, I did a backflip! Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> but I'm, I would not be surprised if we lived in other places, too. Apparently, the fa like, cockroach's favorite thing to eat is just is the the glue that binds books together like that is their ideal food <laughs> which is very funny to me what eats that cockroaches oh yum yum <laughs> that stuff's actually tasty though have you tried it i have not it's good shit <laughs> The way they swarm is a bit off-putting. Did you know ladybugs By the way, I'm swarm joking. sometimes too? Like, I feel like if somebody like actually tries it because they said that, then I'll I just knew you were joking. <laughs> <laughs> I know how Cassie jokes go. <laughs> also, I still. I, I feel like I'm good at bullshitting, but sounding like I'm not bullshitting. Well, so so I Biss. wanted to make that clear. <laughs> you, you and Biss sometimes team up on that to get me stuff. <laughs> Yeah. And Arrow and Biss sometimes team up together on me like that, too. Really? Yeah. I've never seen that. That sounds really great. That's when they were trying to convince me that uh, people liked Knack, too. <laughs> they didn't know anything about Knack. <laughs> this loves okay, to tell that like, story. Okay, but, like, Knack, too, is kind of amazing. But <laughs> Sasha, don't lick but glue. 
If you do, I will actually be upset. Yeah, lady ladybugs apparently also sometimes swarm and in people's houses. <laughs> gonna walk right past that centipede no problem no centipedes for me today I don't actually know if it's like dangerous to lick the book glue I would just assume that it is <laughs> let's look this up let's find out on the web I mean cockroaches think it's good I don't even know what it's called. That's the hard part. How to bind a book with PVA glue. Um, what glue do they use to bind books? Cocker <laughs> Chances, but cockroaches also like to eat garbage. Maybe their food okay. opinions aren't the best. PVA. Okay, PVA glue, um, ingestion. I've never actually, I've never actually seen a cockroach, uh, like in the house, despite the fact that they supposedly common. Never seen them just around. Yeah, don't. Don't eat or lick any glue. <laughs> <laughs> um, the main cockroaches I've ever seen are the ones they have at the zoo, which are African hissing cockroaches. Which are kind of neat. I've never heard them make noises, though. What if Elena was a talking cockroach? I might be. Oh shit. No shit? Yeah. Damn. You don't know, maybe I am. <laughs> you don't say. It's actually quite interesting to me. Remember when I was little, I really didn't want my sister to end up afraid of bugs, so I always like presented them as like, like, good creatures to her. <laughs> Aww, you're a sweetie, Elena. I love you. Just make sure I can bug. That's so sweet. <laughs> Does your sister like bugs? Yeah, she likes bugs still to this day. Wow. <laughs> She's like me, she pretty much just likes all animals. Mine is a sweetie. <laughs> a sweetie burger girl. <laughs> Thank you. I like all bugs. I've been watching video. There's this one channel where they You're do. You're my favorite bug. Oh, thank you. There's this one channel where they do uh, slow motion videos of of different bugs taking off to flight. A lot of them are oh, really yeah. are really dorky looking when they do that. <laughs> they like wiggle their butts a little bit first to like get ready to take off and <laughs> things like that. Looking like a dilgus. <laughs> I thought the weevils were really funny when they were taking off. Well, that's partially just because weevils are really funny-looking bugs to begin with. They have, like, long noses. Honestly, Sasha, same. Sasha says that she doesn't go- what, well, doesn't really like going in the ocean or the lake because a fish might touch her. And, like, same, I just don't want to be touched by any creatures. Oh. I specifically unless I like want them to. I specifically touch creatures at the in tidal pools. <laughs> you like poke the sea anemones and they like grab you a little bit. Oh. 
Yeah, they're like, they feel sticky. <laughs> and then they like close up. It's very fun. You have to touch them gently though, because you don't want to hurt. Sasha says that one time a plant in the wig touched her wig and she never went in the water for several years. And like a hundred percent same. I just don't like that. <laughs> I don't want that to happen to me, and I don't like it, no. It has never bothered I me. I very much agree, Sasha. Especially, well, if with the ocean, especially if you're just, like, in, like, the surf, there's not going to be any fish there. I've never, like, nothing has yeah, ever touched just, me there. I don't <laughs> want plants to touch me in the water. It's, That's never happened to me like either it. in the ocean. When we, this most recent time we were at the beach, part of the... Oh, I did another backflip. Dang. I like animals, today. but I don't like touching them. This most recent time we were at the beach, there was a bunch of uh, sand dollars washed up. Like, whole sand dollars washed up on the beach. But we didn't take any of them because they were still... They weren't, like, dried up shells. They were, like, still alive. So... Oh. If you took them, they would have become stinky. <laughs> I'm actually just afraid of everything, so I agree with your fear of seaweed, seaweed, Sasha. Oh, yeah, I don't. I I, I don't want to touch. It. I do not relate. <laughs> I cannot relate with this. I'm sorry. I like going swimming, but I don't like anything that is in the water except for the water itself. Too into biology. I just don't want to touch bother things me. that are in the water. <laughs> Sasha is saying so many relatable me. things in chat. Oh. Apparently, I'm saying things relatable to Shan. I think all I too creatures would are really try to touch a horseshoe crab at the county fair and cry because it was slimy. <laughs> one time, that reminds me, one time I was at the fair, right? Um, the local carnival. Um, and they had the world's smallest horse. Apparently. Um, and I was like, the world's smallest horse? horse. That's a superlative. I have to, I have to see it. So I paid to see it, and they have you step up on this like platform to look at it, right? So that it looks smaller. Please observe the horse. The biggest fucking ripoff. I didn't even like think it was that small, right? I was just <laughs> like, what? I don't think the illusion worked on me, and if it did, it wasn't that effective. Have you ever seen a miniature horse before? They get very, they can be very small. I have no idea. Was it even a miniature horse that they had? I don't remember. It was a very long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, the horse was just surrounded in a platform that you would step up on to see it. And it was just down there, and you would look <laughs> at it. I got killed by a centipode. World's largest miniature horse. Carnivals are fun and everything, but it's like amazing the shit that they do to like get your money. <laughs> I love when like you pass by like a dart throwing game and they'll like purposely like toss one by your feet and be like, hey, can you pick that up for me? <laughs> My favorite thing with those things is that uh, the people who run them, like, practice them all day, every day, and get really good at them and make it look easy when they're, like, demoing right. it. And then you do it, and it's like, uh... <laughs> like, there's usually, like, some kind of trick to those things that they don't tell you. But they know, so that they can do it and make it look easy. <laughs> Sasha, I just realized you live with a pig. <laughs> the 
there's a there's an elephant that used to live at the Oregon Zoo who was really really big. His name is Packy. Have a big life size picture of him. Real. Oh, area. I bet I know. So I huge. Bet, I bet I know why they were called that. Is it pachyderm? Yeah. <laughs> Pecky the elephant was also special because he was one of the first elephants ever, like, born in captivity. Oh. The Oregon Zoo had one How of the first, How long does like, the elephant live? They live, like, a comp... Like, I think not quite as long as humans do, but pretty close. I think he also, was, how like... how long have we been strumming? Uh, almost an hour, so we'll probably be done soon. Okay. I think he lived to be, like... 57 or something like that. Wow. Elef it's, uh, <laughs> elephants have kind of an unfortunate life cycle. They t I, there was a zookeeper there one time talking about how elephants, like, they only grow, like, one or two sets of teeth or something like that. And, uh, like, and they are... Or no, I think it's just that they keep like making new teeth and they keep falling out, but there's only a certain amount of cycles, and they still fall out on the last cycle, and so then they just end up with no teeth and they and they they can't eat anymore. We've talked so much about sensory experiences today. <laughs> oh hey, look, there's a save point right here. That's perfect. I gotta piss again. BRB. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm they, gonna start streaming. Oh, we gotta, we gotta eat something. Yeah, that's basically what the zookeeper is saying. Is eventually they starve when they get too old. It was something like that, where eventually their teeth like fall out and they just they don't get them back. <laughs> It seemed very unfortunate. It's because evolution is not always logical. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, all evolution cares about is getting you to the point where, you know, you can you survive long enough to reproduce well i say care in quotation marks but like this like so like something like that happens beyond the point where they would be reproducing and so there wouldn't be any evolutionary pressure on that Yeah, it really is. Yeah, rodents do have it good teeth-wise. And lagomorphs, too. Like the bunny. You have to give the rabbit lots of things to chew on so that uh, they can always be wearing down their teeth. Oops. I really need to find a good meal. That there are no good meals. I need a good meal. Yeah, I need to find a good meal. I can save the game. She needs a meal. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, they also they have polar bears back at the zoo again now. Well, just the one. But uh, they revamped the whole polar bear area, made it way bigger with more things that are good for polar bears. But that's nice. We didn't see the polar bear though, because it's inside. I think I mentioned on stream once before, but polar bears in captivity have this weird behavior that is so far unexplained where they just sort of, they like to just pace back and forth. They like walk forward and then back up and then walk forward and then back up over and over and over. And they've only been observed doing that in captivity, so we're not exactly, not exactly sure what's to deal with that. Hey, Elena. Yeah. Are you able to raid streams? Yes. Oh, we could do that. Yeah. Oh, hey. There's some food. Might be too late, though. Some rumbling. For some reason, it's not showing up in my OBS. Yeah, polar bears are, uh... You know, not doing super well, so having a a uh, population in captivity is very important for them. Let me reopen OBS. <laughs> I think this will get me back over there. Oh, Sasha's streaming? Hey. Okay, we're on the way. Let's hurry. I've had my good meal, now I've got to get back. Gotta have a good meal. Yep. I wonder what a speed run of this game would look like. I've seen some. They look absolutely wild. <laughs> my OBS is just not capturing my screen. That's not good. Yeah. This will get me there. Yeah, some limb swarms have been really leaving me alone here, huh? They were really brutal on arrow? Oh. You mean the centipedes? The centip centipode? Or the spiders? Or both? Uh-oh. Did arrow not have the light here either? Okay, we're just barely going to make it, I think. Oh, she also had the light? Well, did she eat all of the little things? I'm trying to figure out what was different. Is she playing on a different difficulty? She also ate all of them. All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. It works now. Okay, just in time for me to uh, done here. I'm just gonna do my little spiel talking about what streams are coming up next. Our conditions were materially the same, huh? I mean, I got killed by a centipede one time, but it was just probably because I spent a lot of time physically touching it. <laughs> What's the time they run away? Here's Beanbug theme song for y'all. Oh yeah, some of you haven't heard the theme song yet, right? 
This made this. The stream has a theme song now. <laughs> For the bean bug. That's what it is. But yeah, I guess so. Well, in the immediate future, I'm gonna go hang out with Cassie on her stream now. Um. But other than that, yeah. Sunday I'm gonna be streaming again, and we're gonna do Sage. Yeah. And hopefully, also still some Raymond too. And also still Pokemon. Let's see what there's time for. Definitely Sage. Um. And then Tuesday will be Battle and Wonder World some more. And then Thursday will be Horizon Zero Dawn and Half-Life 2 Episode 1. I think we might finish Episode 1 next time, and it might happen pretty pretty quickly. So I'm going to have Half-Life 2 Episode 2 ready to go as well, so we can start on that if we need to, <laughs> if it goes too quickly. But yeah, right. thanks, um, thanks everybody for joining. So you can it. Okay. You'll be on two streams simultaneously for a bit. Oh yeah, because <laughs> we're gonna be. In, I'll be I will also be in on two streams at the same time. <laughs> the two stream girlfriends. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed Biss's uh, Beanbug song too. That'll be a. That'll be a new uh, thing on the stream from now on. <laughs> the Beanbug song. I still just I love how much this song makes me think of bugs. Let me know when you're ready for me to raid you, Cassie. Um, I'm ready right now. Okay. I started to strum. It's to strum. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Bye-bye. Be -bye. Yeah, over with bye -bye. Cassie. Bye-bye.